up guys this is Coop Dizzle here and welcome to my new Minecraft Let's Play series so I had a cool idea for this Let's Play series you guys can tell me what you think about it but basically my idea is I'd like to add a little bit of storyline into it so for example this series would follow a professional builder that would be Coop Dizzle, the professional builder. And all of the major building projects that we would do, they would be like jobs uh, by four people in the world. And they'd just be made up people like Gene the cattle herder or something like that. People who want to start like a, a wool business and need a sheep farm. It'd be stuff like that just to add a little storyline into it, but then that could add later jobs like if we find a village or something and let's say Gene wants to start a leather shop then we can go build a leather shop in a village or something so I think it'd be kind of a neat deal just to add in a little storyline and see where that kind of takes us meanwhile of course Coop Dizzle would start off as a nobody um, you start off, of course, with no resources at all, so at first it is, of course, survival. But let's face it, guys, surviving is pretty easy. It's all about the building. So tell me in the comments what you think, if that sounds like a cool idea for a Let's Play series, and if not, well, we can just do, I guess, a normal Let's Play series. That'd be cool. Either way, but let me know what you think about that, guys, if that sounds like something you like to watch. So here we go, brand new world. And I thought, you know, the first episode is never anything new. We gotta chop some wood down, we gotta make a temporary house, stuff like that. Let's see, I'm just gonna give this a second to load up some chunks before we get going. But I figured during this episode, since I'm pretty much brand new to YouTube, I could just tell you guys how I got into Minecraft. So, oh, let's see. Hey, all right. Got a cave close by. That's cool. By the way, guys, I'm playing in Minecraft 1.7.2. And still a little bit laggy here. I might have some occasional lag. Just FYI. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Spawned right next to a village. Ah, it almost seems too easy, doesn't it? Hello, sheep. I could, I could kiss you guys right now. I am so happy with this spawn. Come here. Come here. Mwah, thank you. All right, guys. I'm really excited about this. Couldn't get much better than that. All right. So let's get going. Let's chop down some trees and get started. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd just spend this episode kind of explaining how I got into Minecraft. I'm sure everyone has their story. And mine has to do with family that got into Minecraft. To be honest, I had heard about... I, I was kind of late to the Minecraft thing. I've been playing since this past summer. So summer of... 2013 and so yeah I'm, I haven't been playing for as long as a lot of youtubers on Minecraft um, but to be honest I was kind of avoiding it I had heard about it and uh, but I'm mostly a console gamer and I even saw it come out on Xbox Live and everything like that but you know the thing about Minecraft is you know, it, it almost seemed like people who played Minecraft had their own little, I don't want to say cult, but had their own little group. You know, it was like a, a subsection of gamers or something. Kind of like, you know, Trekkies and Star Wars fans are kind of their own subsection of, I don't know, nerddom or something. I don't know. I... <laughs> I was a Trekkie for a while, and I was a Star Wars fan at one point, too. So, you know, don't get me wrong, guys, but you know what I mean? 
it was one of those things where it was like, you know, do I really want to get involved in this? Uh, because it might just take over my life. You know, it's like one of those things. Um, let's see what we got here in this village. Are you kidding me? I've never seen that before. That's interesting. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to get into that game because it seems like it could really be one of those addicting things that just takes over your life. And, uh, which, is, there is some truth to that. I will say there is some truth to that. Um, hang on, let me go adjust some things in here. Those villagers are kind of loud. Let's see. Ambient environment? Friendly creatures? Is that what our testificates would be considered? I don't know. Anyway, so, oh. all right, so I don't know what I was going to do here. <clears throat> and, and, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's all right. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe and a sword, I guess. So anyway, yeah, I was basically real hesitant to get into Minecraft. Um, when I finally got to see the game actually in action was when I went to go visit my little brother, Seth. Now, Seth was born, I mean, I was almost 17 years after me. So I have a little brother who is 17 years younger than me. And why didn't I make an axe? I am dumb. I really don't want to chop down trees anyway. I want to get some cobbled stone. So anyway, guys, back to what I was saying. So uh, we live, uh, well, first of all, my family, we live in Texas. And so we don't measure distance by miles typically. I mean, we do, but we usually use, oh, perfect. Man, what a great spawn. Anyway, we normally use time. Like how long does it take to drive somewhere? And so I live about an hour away from my little brother and my dad. And so we don't get to visit that often. But one of the times that we went and visited, my little brother was playing Minecraft on Xbox. And my son, he was five at the time, he loved it. He thought it was the coolest thing ever and kept bugging me for a long time to get the game. We also got to see a little bit of Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I thought, well, you know, if we're going to get into this Minecraft thing, let's, let's do it, you know, in baby steps. So I got Minecraft Pocket Edition first. And my son and I, we both enjoyed it, you know. And at first, probably like a lot of you guys, I watched, I had to watch videos because at first I was like, how on earth do I play this game? Let's see. Okay, I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and do an upgrade here. I don't have time to run back to the village and do all that. Let's go ahead and get some stone tools. So... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Stone pickaxe. Done. Oh, no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we'll make a stone axe. And let's see if I can chop down a few more trees. And we'll go ahead and make a few torches. So anyway, yeah, I thought, okay we're going to do this Minecraft thing, we got to do it in baby steps, right? So, Pocket Edition. And we started figuring out how to play that game. But, you know, I would watch all these Let's Play videos, and there are so many cool things that you just can't do on Pocket Edition, you know? So, eventually that got kind of frustrating. And one payday over the summer, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go... Let's go upgrade. Xbox. Let's go. So we played on Xbox for months. I mean, we 
We loved it. <clears throat> um, let's see, sheep. Dun, dun, dun. I'm so sorry, sheep. Come here. Rawr. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> My family is very anti animal abuse. But, uh, but anyway. So yeah, we loved playing on Xbox and we were totally hooked on it. It seemed totally amazing. And we played for months and months. And just recently, I went ahead and downloaded it for Mac. Oh, sweet. Let's see what goodies we have in here. Hmm. A little food anyway. So, anyway, yeah, it was the same problem that I had with Pocket Edition. Even after the recent title update 14, I think it is, or no, title update 13, I still, it was still kind of frustrating seeing all the cool things that people could do in the game that you can't do on Xbox. And so finally I was like, you know what? I want to be able to beast mode it up in Minecraft. I want to be able to pro it up. So let's just go ahead and get... Um, let's just go ahead and get it for the computer. And I've been playing on the computer now for uh, a little over a week, getting the hang of the controls and stuff. And, you know, I still... I still watch way more videos. I, you know, I spend more time watching videos than I do playing the actual game. But I do love to play Minecraft. And so, anyway, guys, that's about all there is to that. Looks like our first day is almost up. Let's see. Yep, this is where I wanted to be. Haven't made myself a uh, shovel yet, so we'll just punch out this random dirt in the house. And let's see, make ourselves a bed. I mean, we've already got torches and stuff. I was going to say, let's, you know, try to make our own house real quick. Mm, we'll probably have to do that in the next episode, though. Getting set up in our little village here. So, the survival part's pretty much already done, I mean. Can't get much easier than spawning right next to a village, guys. Let's see. We will go ahead and I'll just plunk that down here. Don't have any reason to use it yet. All right. Good first meal there. A little apple dinner or whatever. And the first sleep. Very good. So. Yeah, that's pretty much how I got into it. I got introduced by my little brother. I uh, started off as kind of a father-son thing, and um, also a way for me to connect with my little brother. Once I started playing on Xbox, we would play on Xbox Live uh, from time to time and use that as a way to connect, and that was really cool too because I really, you know, because of our huge age gap, 17-year age gap, it's kind of hard to connect with him sometimes and especially you know I mean I have my own life and everything and we didn't really get that experience of living together I mean he was born the summer that I left for college so it was really cool to be able to have something to connect with him uh, over and some you know a good reason to leverage the internet to do something cool um, basically right now guys I'm basically scouting for where I can build a house as part of this village so I can have my own little my own little house here. So maybe Coop Dizzle, the professional builder, maybe he's just from this town. Maybe you know, I was thinking he would be this guy, this legendary guy that came out of the wilderness, you know, came out of nowhere, but I don't I don't think that's what the origin's gonna be. So Anyway, guys, sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. It is my first ever Let's Play episode, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I think this little plot right here is probably going to be 
We might have to do a little bit of landscaping, but I think this will probably be where we build our house here in the village. And we'll set up our hometown. We're going to need a name for this village, guys. So if you have any ideas, cool village idea names, please leave that in the comments as well. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy getting to know a little bit, I guess, about um, how I got into Minecraft. And let me know what you think we should call this village. And let me know um, what you think about my storyline idea. And if that would be kind of a cool thing. Or if I should just go in a completely different direction. So, all right, guys. Well, whoops. Here we go. Thanks for watching my first ever Let's Play. And leave it a like if you enjoyed it. Or if you want to see more, just to support my channel. And subscribe if you want to catch future episodes. I'll see you later. Thank you.